So today I talk about a P0301 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0301 code? Well, it's a cylinder one misfire detected. And what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder inside of the engine needs the correct air fuel ratio mixture to be going into the cylinder. And then at the right time, the spark plug is going to send out a spark that ignites this mixture and it's going to create combustion, which pushes down on the piston, which pushes the crank and keeps the whole engine running. But when you get a misfire code, something's gone wrong with this. The combustion inside that cylinder is not working or it's working sometimes and not other times, but there's some kind of issue going on with it and it'll have to be troubleshooted to know why. And a P0301 code is going to point to the number one cylinder that's having the problem. If you were to get a P0302, that'd be cylinder number two, P0302. 303 that would be cylinder number three and so on so if you go google your engine along with firing order or, or cylinder location you should be able to find the number one cylinder on your particular engine and cylinder number one is going to be the cylinder that's having the problem and the thing about these misfire codes is that if you're only getting the misfire code on one cylinder then you can just go check the components on that cylinder so that would be things like the coil the injector the spark plug the spark plug wire going to that cylinder and things like that but if you're getting multiple misfire codes you're getting like a p0300 like other cylinders are also misfiring so then that can point to something else that would affect the whole engine so for example like a bad fuel pump that's putting out low fuel pressure it'll affect multiple cylinders and so you would be getting multiple misfires. But if you're only getting one cylinder, like this P0301 code, then you could just go check those individual components and likely there's some kind of issue just going on with one of those. And so what are some possible causes of a P0301 code? Well, it could be a bad spark plug, especially if that vehicle has a lot of miles on it. The spark plugs might need to just be changed. It can also be the spark plug wire going to the spark plug. It might have a bad connection or there might be some kind of issue going on with it. It can also be a bad coil. There might be some kind of problem going on with the coil. Engines can have different types of coils. It's gonna vary, it's gonna depend on the engine, the year, the make, different things like this. But they basically all do the same thing, is that they provide high voltage so that that spark plug can ignite that air gas fuel ratio mixture that goes into the cylinders. But the next thing that it could be is it could be a bad coil. It can also be a bad fuel injector. If the fuel injector has gone bad and it's not working no more, there might not be no fuel going into that cylinder, or it could be spraying incorrectly. So it's spraying sometimes and not other times, it's something along these lines. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel injector. And if you happen to have an older vehicle that has a distributor cap, then it can also be a bad distributor cap. And so how would you go about troubleshooting a P0301 code? Well, there's several different ways you go about troubleshooting a misfire code. The first thing to do is to go locate that cylinder one on your particular engine. And then the next thing to do would be check like spark plug wires or any wiring going to that cylinder and the coil that's providing high voltage to the spark plug. Again, there could be different types of coils, but they're all doing the same thing. Sometimes you'll have individual coils on each cylinder. If you do happen to have individual coils on each cylinder, you can't swap it with the one next to it and see if the problem follows. You can check them out and be sure that there doesn't look like there's any oil on them, that they're making good connections, things along these lines. You can also check to see if that cylinder is getting sparked. Because if it is getting sparked, then you know the spark's working and you can move on to like the fuel, like a fuel injector or something like that. And so there's some different ways to go about checking for spark. A really quick method is use a spark plug tester tool that basically has one side goes on the spark plug and then the other side goes to the coil. And then you start up the engine and if it has spark, then you'll be able to see it inside of here. You'll see a spark in inside the little tool. These are real low cost items, usually less than like $10, $15. I'll put a link down below if you need to see what I'm talking about. But one of the first things to do is check and be sure that you're getting spark going to that cylinder number one. If you're not getting spark to that cylinder, you can also check out the spark plug. You can pull it out and check to see if it's damaged or there's some kind of issue going on with it. Because if that spark plug is bad, then it's going to cause issues. If you are getting spark to that cylinder, then the next thing to check is going to be that fuel injector. Again, there's some different ways to go about testing a fuel injector. Sometimes these injectors can be kind of easy to get to. And if that is the case, then you could swap it with another cylinder and see if the problem follows. Sometimes it can be hard to get to. So if you have a multimeter, you can also test them this way to see if they failed. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about using a multimeter to check the fuel injectors. But if you're getting spark, then the next thing to go and do is to go test that fuel injector on cylinder number one and be sure that it's working. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing an engine with the P0301 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.